The 2013 SEABL Southern Conference Grand Final took place at the Ice House with the Nutterwadding Spectres taking on the Mount Gambier Pioneers. Pioneers and the Spectres went blow for blow in the first quarter, both teams desperately wanting to win this grand final and take home the bacon. But at the end of the first quarter, the Pioneers held on to a very slim one-point lead over the Spectres. The second quarter saw the Spectres dominate the Pioneers and really take control of the game. They shot 45% from the field and managed to uh, turn over the ball three times off the Pioneers and also pulled down 12 defensive rebounds. The Spectres won the quarter 21-13 to and the scores at half time were 35-42. to The Pioneers bounced right back in the third quarter they shot 52.9% from the field and took the Spectres all the way to the limit. The Spectres went 0 from 4 from the free throw line and also missed 4 from their 4 attempts from downtown. They turned the ball back over to the Pioneers for free 4 times as well. The Pioneers on the other hand went 4 from 4 from the free throw line, hit 2 3 pointers and pulled down 7 boards. Going into the last quarter, the Pioneers had a slim three-point lead, 59-56. to 56. The first three quarters, although were great basketball, were really just a stage setter for the fourth and final quarter of the game. Both teams clearly wanting to win this grand final and the crowd right behind the Pioneers for the hometown atmosphere. The Pioneers managed to pull down 11 boards to the Spectres' nine and held on to the ball better, not turning it over in the quarter, but the Spectres gave the Pioneers the ball for free twice. What we're going to do now is we're going to pick up the game with a minute 30 left to go. The Spectres holding on to a slim one point lead. 74. Are you serious? 